that him leave out to go visit um, a young lady. Um, I just recently found out that the child, um, some mix up like is his or is not. The prime suspect that the police was seeking in the taking out of Constable Jermaine Bennett was cut down in a shootout with police yesterday. Hi again and welcome. This is Links W7 TV Let's Talk and we're about to discuss this on the program. If it's the first time you're watching, please remember just to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell and click on all so you're always updated with the latest report. We'll be right back after the break with the details. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Links Blur 7 TV. Let's talk. Wherever you are watching this in the world right now, much love, much respect goes out to you, the loyal viewers, for continuing to support the movement of Links Blur 7 TV. So what I want to talk about today on the program is a situation that took place recently in which a police constable who goes by the name Jermaine Bennett was viciously stuffed out in a section of the culprit area. Now I can tell you that the family is having a difficult time to cope with the loss of a police constable as he was off duty at the time this occurred and he was actually at the home of a female that he had a relationship with and went at that location just in order to identify a child that he believed was his. Now, somehow during that whole entire visit, he was pounced upon by a lone gunman who opened fire, hitting him multiple times and then made good their escape. Now, what happened in that situation was very sad and it was very unfortunate. The police took two females into custody and they are so far being questioned in relation to the matter. Now, in recent development, the police are reporting that the prime suspect within this case was viciously stuffed out in a confrontation with law enforcement officers just yesterday. And that's a developing story and we're about to talk about that right now. But before I even get into the details of that, let me just talk a little bit about what I see going on and the trend that has been developing and manifesting itself into the hearts of these young people that are coming up in this current generation. All I can say is that badness, it doesn't pay. And at the end of the day, you're only putting your life at risk, your family life at risk. And at the end of the day, we have seen how this situation have manifested themselves and how they have created havoc in the society that we currently live in. Now, this individual who is unidentified up to the publication of this report engaged the police in a shootout and his life was taken. He was actually the prime suspect in the taking out of the police constable and he was being sought by the police and during an operation in order to apprehend him. The police are so far reported that he did not give up and he went down with a fight. Now when we look on what is going on, it's really sad to see the level of crime and violence especially being portrayed right across the country. Gone are the days when we'd say this parish is a good parish, that parish is a quiet parish um, and things such as that. It's as if the country has become a war zone in which violence have become the order of the day and we have seen what is happening we have seen how crime and violence is escalating more and more each day throughout the various parts of the country and we can't blame the government for this we can't blame the dancehall artists for this but it's the moral breakdown within the homes i believe is contributing to this level of crime and violence that we are faced with in this current era that we are living in. Now the sister of Mr. Jermaine Bennett, Simone Lawrence, shared her
her side of the story and what she believed happened in this case. And we're about to listen to just a short clip of what she had to say in relation to what happened to her brother. And then we're going to provide you with the updated report in relation to the prime suspect that was taken out by the police yesterday, Easter Monday. So let's go over to the sister of the individual right now. I heard that him leave out to go visit um, a young lady. Um, I just recently found out that the child, um, some mix up like is his or is not. So mm -hmm. him go for identify the child and we just get the call. Word can't describe, me can't believe it because I know somebody where talkative, him no have friends, him no deal with people, him just to himself, him quiet, humble. It's shocking, seriously, it shocked me. Him have two sons and them, 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 them tear up. It me know him is a policeman and you know you have it at your back of your head said one day something will happen to him on duty but not, not so. Mm. Not that way. Mm. How them do him it shocking to me. So that was the sister of the deceased police constable, Mr. Jermaine Bennett, Simone Lawrence, giving her account of what she heard transpired to the police officer. Now we're about to provide you with an updated report of what the police is currently reporting in relation to the prime suspect that was cut down by the police. So the Jamaica Constabulary Force said that the main suspect in last week's fatal shooting of the police constable Mr. Jermaine Bennett was killed. Sources said that the suspect who is not yet identified but has so far been identified as the alias Richie Post was shot during a blazing gun battle with members of the police force in St. Catherine just a few hours ago. Constable Bennett was shot in Gregory Park, also in St. Catherine, about 9.45 p.m. last week, Tuesday. So this would have been just less than a week that this situation occurred. The 36-year-old police constable had gone to Gagra Park to visit a child that he believed was his. And it is stated that two females were taken into custody by the police after the fatal shooting. And they so far remain in the custody of the local authorities as the police are still carrying out an investigation into the matter. Now, what happened in this case is very sad. And it's very unfortunate as this police constable believe as if this child belonged to him. Now it's still unclear what transpired at the residence of this child. But what happened is that someone else who might have thought that he was the father came on the scene as well. Might be the lover of the female that a constable would have shared a relationship with for some time. Now it is believed that the constable was unsure whether or not the child was his. The female as well was actually unsure whether the child was his as well. So it is stated that the police went to the location on this fateful day just in order to get a glimpse of the child for the very first time in his life. Now it is seem as if the other individual who is believed to be the actual person that this female had a relationship with as well came to the premises after seeing the police constable gain entry to the location and it's still unclear whether there was a physical altercation between the police and this individual however Shots were heard and the constable did not survive the attack. Now these females, they have to be very careful because some of the times they draw individuals into certain situations that could have been avoided. Now this police constable, he was like an innocent victim here in this situation because he would have just tried to be the father figure 
to that child, unknowingly to him whether or not this child belonged to him. Now he lost his life based on the fact that he wanted to be a part of this child's life, right? This situation really need to be sorted out in a different manner because at the end of the day, violence is not the key. And when we look on this young, promising individual, he was just 36 years old. And based on my own investigation, he seemed as if he was actually a main figure, or what would I say, a main breadwinner within the family. Now, this family is left devastated. They are left in shock. They are in disbelief based on the development that came out of this situation last week, Tuesday. This individual would have just left his residence just in order to venture to a neighboring community. Now, the family, they did not expect to get a news such as this. And they have left this has just left them in total shock, in total disbelief. And it's a situation that has totally ravaged the family and has left them traumatized in so many different avenues and so many different ways. The police constable is said to have had two other children. Now they are left without a father figure in their life. The prime suspect that the police believe was responsible for this, was cut down just less than a week after he carried out this act on the constable. At the end of the day, it wasn't worth it because his life is now gone, the police constable's life is now gone. The child, if that individual was actually the father of this child, now that child is left without a father in their life or her life or whatever sex the baby was right so we have to think about situations such as these and try find ways and means of settling problems in a different manner in a different fashion because at the end of the day the way in which life is going or the way in which problems are being dealt with it doesn't look good it doesn't look good on the outskirts when you look in right we must can find different ways and different measures to deal with certain situation because crime and violence it doesn't pay and i hope that this just reads someone out there and i hope that you just try to find ways and means of settling whatever problem you're having with someone because resorting to violence resorting to crime it doesn't write it all right i'm gonna leave this one here for now though thanks for watching this has been links of blood 7 tv let's talk peace out and much respect goes out to you please subscribe to the channel for the latest i'm out bless